everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Gregory Scott and this is your tarot reading for Thursday the 16th of July 2015. I am just shuffling these cards very well so I can choose three and I can give you the forecast for the day. So let's do that. Okay, so one, two, three. The first card is the Two of Wands in Reverse. And the Two is a gate card. It's about making a decision around what it is you want, what it is you need. What I feel is going to be holding you back a little bit on this day is that you're going to be more introspective than outrospective. You're going to be focused more on what's going on on the inside instead of looking at the real world and what you can achieve. And my guidance to you is not to try and find the answers so much within. within. Don't try and do so much soul searching today, so much seeking, so much internal analysis. I think it's a really good day. The feeling I get for Thursday the 16th is that it is time to take action, to really go out there and do what it is you want to achieve. Earlier on in the week, it was about having desires but being considerate and not being overly aggressive and I think that continues to apply so just because you go out there and do something doesn't mean you're being selfish or willful it's okay to try and achieve the things you want but really the the key thing for today is to actually go out there and do things and that's particularly in terms of if you're trying to achieve something creatively like if you're trying to um, write a piece of music or if there's someone you're interested in romantically who you want to approach, or if you've been trying to make a decision around what work route you should take, or how to get the excitement back into a situation or a relationship. It's a good day to actually take action on that and to bring that back into your life. The next card is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is really um, someone being celebrated. Okay, and someone really being successful and having achieved certain things. And that's in reverse, and that means that you're not quite there yet, but if you do follow up on your desires, on your guided intentions, on the things that are coming up for you, you will be successful in what you're trying to achieve. And then finally, the Eight of Chalices. The Eight of Chalices, we can see this guy kind of shamed, okay, this soldier has been shamed. And he's walking away from the empty cups. So it's almost like these are the good things that he had in his life, but because of his own failure, they're all abandoned and alone, and he's walking away. So he feels, um, he feels like he's done something wrong. Now, this isn't about making you feel like you've done anything wrong. But what this is saying that um, there's a this is up and this is the other way around okay so let me just turn these around so if you let go of the shame and the guilt of the past and you take your power back and do the things that you want to do then you have that social success if you tap into the shame and the things that you've done wrong or the reason why you're not worthy then you won't get anything done okay so let's say i want to write a book on how to love yourself but I, you know, let's say, for example, I, um, I was mean to my sister when I was 10 years old. Um, and I was a bit of a bully, for example. Who am I to write a book on how to love yourself? Because I'm certainly not perfect. And what I'm doing there is I'm, t I'm tapping into my shame and I'm, I'm letting my ego stop me from doing something that would be really helpful for the rest of humanity. And if I say... Right, I'm not perfect, I did that. I'm going to make amends to my sister. But despite that, I still have something to offer. And I'm going to write this book and do it. Then that's the way it's supposed to go. So today, don't let yourself talk you out of whatever it is you want to be doing. Because it has worth, it has value, and it has meaning. And it's important to act on that. Numbers, we've got 8 and 6 is 14. And 2 is 16, 
1 and 6 is 7. 7 in numerology is about mind and creativity. So really um, get your mind on board and don't listen to every negative thought and do the things that you can be productive and do what you would like to do and let go of that shame and guilt. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and let me have your thoughts on this deck. I don't like it. Um, let me know if you like it. It's a bit too kind of barbaric for me and it's a bit too grim. And this feel, It feels like it's like the Game of Thrones or something. It doesn't look particularly inviting. And I don't think the tarot should be scary. I think it should be a helpful tool. And just starting with this kind of horned warrior god it's like with the chalice chalices are about love and kindness i mean you know let me know what you think and um there we go i'll speak to you tomorrow have a wonderful day and i'll speak to you soon